So I have another ghostly wild tale for you this time. At about five o'clock yesterday, we're looking for a place to wild camp. And we'd heard that there was an anter up on top of the hill. So we wander around looking for this place, and sure enough, we find our anter. And we sit down on the stone, and we look out across the whole of the sunset over the Alentejou hills. And then I put up my tent in the dusky twilight, and we come back. Now, an anter is the Portuguese term for a megalithic stone. Now, it could be a burial chamber, it could be an altar, or it could just be a high place. We don't really know. But what we do know is that this stone was put here 5,000 years ago, and it stayed here since. So it seemed like the perfect place for a wild camp. Second, Alentejo is also the most sparsely populated province in Portugal, and it's the biggest. So we drove half an hour to the nearest Tasca and half an hour back, by which point it was pitch black. There were no sound of any sheep, the birds had stopped singing, and the stars were out in the sky. So, in order for me to find my way back to the tent, Deanna had to flick on the headlights so that I could see the gap in the hedgerow. And I found it, and I found my way steadily up back to the path, and here was the anter. And my tent was just to one side. And as I'm lying down in my tent, silence, except for a rasping breathing sound. And I hold my breath in order to listen closer. And it's as if the breath is coming from the ground. <gasps> And my hair's turned white, and I don't last one second longer to find out what it is. 